All right, everybody, Josh Denbo, consumer rights attorney here. Uh, you already all know that for anybody who's seen my videos before anyway, but that's who I am. And who I am is somebody who in 2008 went into foreclosure himself. There's a lot of shame involved in that. I mean, I found it problematic to deal with back in the day. Now, it was the second mortgage, not the first, but we were still behind on the first because in 2008, my business went when everybody else's did. Went, you know, nowhere. And... I remember sitting there going, oh my God, <clears throat> how do I talk to my wife about this? You know, she wasn't working at the time. She then went out and got a job as a teacher and has been teaching since, and that's really helped us out from time to time when things got tight, but that was bad and that was hard. And I went through part of the process that my clients are going through, which is why I think I can understand and connect better than a lot of other people to folks in financial trouble. <clears throat> so what happened to us is, I mean, looking back on it, it's so stupid. We bought a minivan because our kids were small and we were making money, you know, all right, fine. And then I came up with a genius idea. Hey, guess what? You know what we could do? We could take that minivan loan of whatever it was, $13,000, $14,000, and it's at like 10%. And if we take out a second mortgage, we could do it at like 4%. This is a great idea. Really? What an idiot I was. I mean, everybody makes bad financial decisions, and that's not the worst one I've ever made, but that's a pretty stupid financial decision. Tying up your home in order to save five interest rate points on a $13,000 loan, really? That's smart? No, that's really stupid. And so listen, you know, any lawyer sits out there and says, well, I can help you, I know, because I've never been in foreclosure. Well, I have been. I was buying on the first, foreclosed on the second, but in my case, I was able to work things out at the cost of my credit, which really hurt me for another four or five years afterwards, but I ended up negotiating and paying half of the loan instead of the full thing. So I got a car for five grand instead of 14,000 or whatever it was. <clears throat> but, you know, unless you're honest to yourself, to your family, to people around you, you can't really solve a problem. It was only when I sat down and said, honey, we got an issue. I don't know where the business is gonna go. It's 2008. We had a nice practice before, a couple of associates, you know, three support staff, a building we owned. We're good, except that we weren't because the money wasn't coming anymore. What do we do? What changes do we make? And it starts by saying, I have a problem. I know what it is. I'm going to try to solve it and be as smart as I can and be prepared to be honest and make hard decisions. A decision I made business-wise was at the recommendation of a then associate. He said, represent consumers in foreclosure. I'm like, you know what? We're both broke. We'll have something to talk about and get along together. And I meant it as a joke, but it was actually serious and true. And I turned that moment into a business, a, a good business that provided me a tremendous amount of personal satisfaction and joy over the last 12 years. And I learned so much, so much over the last 12 years of litigating in, in consumer rights practice. Before that, I was mostly civil rights. That I am now a much more powerful consumer advocate than I've ever been before in my entire career. And I look forward to sharing the wisdom with you. As always, I give advice away for free because I can. So, got any questions, call me, 201-970-6534. Send me an email, jdenbo at denbolaw.com. Reach out to me on social media. Talk to me. And again, ask me a question, I'll give you an answer. All right, everybody, be smart. We're going to get through this together. It's going to get rough.